Hey guys, I just pulled up to the range here to do some practice for the Bianchi Cup, which is coming up in about a month. It's a little bit of a cool spring day here in Utah. We had some snow last night at the top of the hills, you can see, but with the match coming up in about a month, you still gotta get out and practice. I brought along my camera today to film my practice so I could share it online so you guys could see how I got ready for the match and also to just talk about the Bianchi Cup and generate a little bit more interest in it. I've shot a lot of different types of pistol matches, uh, USPSA and IPSC, IDPA and Steel Challenge, uh, and the Bianchi Cup, and the Bianchi Cup was one of my favorite matches. When I first started shooting the Bianchi Cup, I thought the time limits for what uh, you were asked to do were way too long, and I've heard a lot of other people who are real speed shooters say that, but uh, after a couple years of shooting the match, I've come to realize that even though the time limits may seem long compared to the other shooting sports, it really gives you the exact amount of time you need to do a perfect shot for what you're asked to do on that string of fire every time. For example, the longest string uh, during the entire match is 15 seconds to shoot six shots on two targets. But you're shooting those shots from 50 yards away with a handgun, and the bullseye is a four inch circle and the ten ring is an eight inch circle. So realistically, to shoot six shots on two targets and to be really precise and hit the 10 or the X ring, 15 seconds is not that long. It's just about the perfect amount of time you need to execute everything perfectly to get good hits in that time limit. The same goes with the other events, the plate rack for example. Uh, you start off with 6 seconds at 10 yards, which is a long time compared to the other practical shooting sports, but again, to do it 6 for 6, 100% of the time, every time, uh, that's a perfect time limit to get a good draw, to get a good sight picture, and do six perfect shots every single time. And then you move back on the falling plate event from 10, 15, 20, and 25 yards. And at 25 yards, you have nine seconds to do that. And again, nine seconds may seem like a long time to shoot six plates, but you're shooting it at 25 yards, and it's just an eight inch plate, and it's either hit or miss. There's no makeup shots at all. So nine seconds to get those six perfect shots to get six hits is just the perfect amount of time. Today I think I'm just going to practice the practical and the plates. Uh, it's a little bit difficult here at this range to practice the barricade and there's no mover here so I'm not able to practice the mover until I actually go to the match. But today we'll film the practical and the plates and we'll talk about each of them a little bit. Alright, first let's talk about the practical. The practical starts off at 10 yards and you move back all the way to 50 yards. So you've got some real tough shots with a handgun to make during this event. The practical also is the only event in the entire match where you shoot either one-handed or support-handed. There is uh, one string at the 10-yard line where you have 8 seconds to shoot 3 shots on each target, 6 shots total, with your support hand only. So it's a little bit different uh, than the other events because it has that one uh, string where you shoot support-handed only, and you also go back much farther than the other events. You go back to 50 yards. So let's talk about the different courses of fire and then go ahead and shoot and see how we can do. Okay, for the practical event, there are four positions, 10, 15, 25, and 50 yards. You shoot three different strings from each position for a total of 48 shots when you're all said and done. From the 10 yard position, string one is one shot on each target in three seconds. String two is two shots on each target in four seconds. And string three is the oddball where you shoot support hand only, three shots on each target in eight seconds. This is the only time in the entire match where you shoot with your support hand or one-handed. From this position, everything must be done standing. All right, I've got everything set up here to practice the practical. I've got my two targets downrange. I've got a GoPro set up so we can see the hits while I'm shooting. Let's go ahead and try this out. Alright, this next one is a left-handed string. Gotta be real careful. You wanna keep them all on the X-ring and if not the 10 ring, but you know, left hand, sometimes not that easy. Alright, let's go take a look. 
All right, after the first string at 10 yards, we've got five X's and one 10. Not too bad, I'll take that any day of the week. Same over here, five X's and one 10. Let's go back to 15. Position two at 15 yards, string one is one shot on each target in four seconds. String two, two shots on each target in five seconds. And string three, three shots on each target in six seconds. Shooters have the option of going prone here or standing. All right, we're back here at the second position at 15 yards for the next three strings. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's go look at the targets. All right, this is after this, the three strings at 15. Shot two eights. I'll have to go back and look at the footage to see where those were. I'm not very happy about that. So I'll have to see if we can clean it up at 25. Coming over here to the second target, uh, we've got them all in the 10 ring still, so I'll take that. Not too happy about those two eights, but let's see what we can do next. At the 25 yard position, string one is one shot on each target in five seconds. String two, two shots on each target in six seconds. And string three is three shots on each target in seven seconds. Again, shooters have the option of standing or going prone at 25 yards. Okay, we're back here at the 25 yard position. I'm still not gonna go prone here. This is just my personal preference. I like to uh, use the extra time that I get from standing as opposed to going prone to just get good shots at the 25 yard mark. Uh, a lot of people will go prone at 25 and even 15, but for me personally, I like to just stand here at 25. I will go prone at 50, you'll see in a minute. Um, so after the 15 yard string, I had those two eights. Really not happy about that, especially at 15 yards. So let's see if we can clean it up and do better here at 25. that went better let's go check and see all right here's the left target at 25 uh, I got two more eights those are a little bit easier to swallow at the 25 yard line but still I want to be able to keep everything in the 10 ring at 25 uh, but you know two more eights we'll have to take it right target everything still looks good uh, everything in the 10 ring so I don't know I, I shoot the left target first I don't know if it's something on my draw that I'm rushing or uh, something that I'm doing on the left target that's just causing me to do this or just you know hammer on the trigger, but uh, let's go back to 50 and see if we can get any better. At the 50 yard position, string one is one shot on each target in seven seconds. String two, two shots on each target in 10 seconds. String three, three shots on each target in 15 seconds. At 50 yards, you have the option of standing or going prone. However, by the time you reach this position, almost everybody goes prone. All right, we're back here at the 50 yard line. There's a little bit of wind back here at the range, but we're just gonna keep going forward. I had two eights at the 25 yard line, which isn't so bad, but I'm trying to keep everything in the 10 ring. At 50 yards, especially now, it becomes super important to watch the side alignment and trigger control when you're making these shots. I am gonna go prone at 50 yards here, so I've got the mat, and uh, let's just go ahead and see what we can do.
All right, that was the end of the 50 yard string and the end of the practical. Let's go take a final look at the targets to see how we did. All right, here we are looking at the targets at the end of the 50 yard strings. Looks like I only had one more eight uh, just outside of here on the upper left. So that's not bad at all for the 50 yard string, keeping them all but one inside the 10 ring. Let's go over here to the right target. Looks like we had two eights over here, just on the uh, top and the upper right over here. But again, two eights, uh, especially that close to the 10 ring from the 50 yard strings, I'll take it every day of the week. So uh, not too bad. We'll uh, take some pictures here and then uh, add up the score. Okay, so if we take a close look at these targets, we can see I've got 48 hits on here, 24 on each, which is exactly what you want, no misses. Okay, then for scoring, instead of adding up the points, we're just going to subtract from the total maximum score. The best score on this is going to be a 480, and so I've got 7 eighths, which means I'm going to take off 14 points, so I've got a 466. And then if you look at my X count, I've got 11 on the left and 12 on the right for 23X, leaving my final score for the practical today being 466 with 23Xs. Not too bad. All right, well, that's the end of the practical. Yeah. Again, had some shots at 15 that I would really wish I had uh, in the 10 ring, but you gotta take what you shoot. Other than that, it went pretty well. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys are a little bit more interested in the Yankee Cup. Hopefully I'll see you guys out at the range. Thanks.